Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first MS Paint tutorial movie. This film is the first in a series of five paint learning videos, the scope of which is to teach through step-by-step -step demonstration how the various tools of MS Paint may be used. Links to the other videos will be provided at the end of the movie. MS Paint may be used to create an image that could be printed onto a t-shirt of yours, it may be used to make an illustration for your PowerPoint presentation, or to compose channel art for your YouTube channel. I have even at some occasions used MS Paint to make decorative artwork for use when ordering custom-made skis. Now to the basics of paint, which will be presented to you through the making of a simple drawing. To start with, this program has a tool for drawing circles and ellipses. Next, there is a tool for drawing straight lines. Then, there is a tool for drawing curves. Now, as we embark on drawing a curve, let's first select a different thickness for it and make it a little bit slimmer than the striped line that we just made. When we've drawn the curve, it doesn't immediately look like a curve, it rather looks just like the striped lines do, the difference being that it may be pulled upon sideways so that it becomes a curve. You may either pull upon it twice in the same direction to create a C-shaped curve, or you may pull the two halves in opposite directions to create an S-shaped curve. We've now come to the Copy, Cut and Paste tools. Go to the Select menu and choose Rectangular Selection, then click upon the same menu once more and choose Transparent Selection, and so you're ready to copy and paste. Mark out the element that you want to cut or copy, then right-click upon it and in this case choose Copy, as we intend to make several copies of this curve. Now let's move our template a little bit out of the way before we start pasting copies of it onto the drawing. Next right-click upon the drawing and this time choose Paste. A copy of the curve will then pop up in the upper left corner of the bitmap and you may simply drag it to any place you like on the drawing. This pasting may then be repeated as many times as you want. The image is retained on the clipboard of your computer until you either cut out or copy another image. I usually retain the original or the template somewhere at the edge of the bitmap drawing as it may prove useful to have later on. I'll now demonstrate how it is sometimes useful to first draw an item in a different color from the one you intended to finally have. First, let's make a green curve that connects these two previously drawn black curves. This new curve will eventually form the outer edge of a flag that we are currently drawing. Now choose a new color from the color palette, then select the curve tool again and draw the connecting curve in the shape that you like. Next, make a copy of the green curve and then drag it somewhere to the outer part of your drawing. Now choose the Fill-in tool. In Paint, two colors have been pre-selected for your drawing and painting tools. They are called Color 1 and Color 2. By default at startup, they are always black and white respectively, but you may select any color of your preference to become either Color 1 or Color 2, just as you like. Now, with the Fill-in tool, you change any one colored item into color number 1 if you left-click upon it, whereas you get color number 2 if you right-click upon the item. So, in order to make the copied curve useful for us, we just right-click upon the unwanted remnants of the black curves, thereby making them white and thus removing them. Now, we have created another template, which we are currently going to use along with the first one, as we go on with our drawing.
Unwanted segments of the green curves are now removed by adding the background color to them, whereas unwanted segments of the black curves are removed using the eraser tool. Finally, the green curves are now converted into black. As the outline of our drawing is now completed, any color from the color palette may be added to any closed field on our drawing, and so we finally have a Danish flag, claimed by the Danish to be the oldest national flag on our planet. Just make sure there is no opening in any field to which color is added, or the color will spill outside, so to say. Oops, what happened? As may be seen, there is an opening at the bottom of the flagpole, through which the color leaks out, and that explains why the flagpole couldn't keep the added color to itself. Fortunately, MS Paint has this regret tool that may be used to undo any unwanted action that you've accidentally performed. To be able to add color to the flagpole, just draw a broad closing line at the bottom so that the added color will be contained within the flagpole. By choosing a different color from that of the outline of the flagpole for this closing line at the bottom, it may afterwards be easily removed. The template curves have now served their purpose and so we remove them by marking them, right-clicking and then selecting Delete from the menu. We have now obtained an image of a flag that could be used on a boat or as a veranda flag. To be able to use it on the ground in front of a house, however, the flagpole needs to be elongated, or else it will look quite stupid. To elongate the flagpole, we first need to enlarge the bitmap image itself. Use the zoom tool in the lower right corner of the paint window to zoom the image out a bit. Next, just drag upon one of the edge markers of the image to enlarge it in the direction that you intend. The size of the image, as measured by its number of pixels in each direction, is shown on the bottom bar of the paint window. A simple flagpole with a rope is now quite easy to elongate. You just mark out the lower part of it, and then drag the bottom edge of the marked field in a downward direction, and there you are. Now, in order to save the image, click on the diskette icon in the upper left corner of the paint window and then punch in a suitable name for your drawing. The saved file will now appear in your file system, from where you may open it with a number of other programs and from where you may also import it into other documents. The flag with the elongated flagpole now fits nicely in front of the house and the lighthouse of this drawing. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the links that I promised you for the other videos of this paint tutorial series. Thank you very much for your attention.